this is the site of one of the greatest moments in Houston Texans history. Right here. Because let's be honest, even though it was the slappy win for the Texans, the win was never in doubt. The cover, on the other hand, very much in doubt. The word ugly was used by many a Texan in post-game coverage after the game. It was an ugly win. You'd like to see it more. You'd like to see it this way. Honestly, actually, Eric Winston and Antonio Smith both said these are the kind of wins they kind of like. Antonio actually said, I don't think Coach Kubiak's going to like this, but I kind of like games like this. We still had to go out there and earn it. It wasn't that easy. The scoreboard certainly indicates it wasn't that easy, but as a defense especially, they basically didn't let the Jaguars do anything. The two touchdowns were very short drives off of turnovers the rest of the game and now they're eight games into the season they have actually dominated they're totally legit as we had going into this game this is a legit top 10 defense and the thing that was great about today defensively to me is that the pass rush wasn't particularly no. good so the back end really had to hold up for a pretty long time and they gave up the occasional play out there but they also made a lot of plays Jason Allen made a fantastic play on, on an interception Jonathan Joseph dislodged the ball around the goal line they came very close to making uh, a couple other big plays out there. Brian Cushing had a huge play, including a near decapitation of uh, Blaine Gabbard on the early portion of the game that might have should have been flagged, but it but it wasn't. But in all, you win by 10 points at home against Jacksonville. You're 3-0 and in the division. You're 5-3 and uh, in the in the conference. I think you got to feel pretty good about things because you know Andre Johnson is coming back. Now, there, there were some negatives. Certainly the offense could be play, play better. And you heard Gary Kubiak talk about this after the game. D'Amico Ryan's having to become a full-time football player again because the Texans lost linebacker Daryl Sharpton this season to a broken leg. Yeah, bad news for Daryl Sharpton. A couple guys were obviously talking about that as well. Offense, great opening drive first half, great opening drive second half. Not a whole lot else otherwise. The turnovers are obviously something they can control. Matt Schaub got sack fumbled by a guy who had fallen down earlier on the drive, got to avoid, or earlier on the play, I should say. And Ben Tate, another good run, but he's really the only guy that's put the ball on the carpet, unfortunately, a little bit too consistently this year. He loses another one here. They've only lost three fumbles all year, but two of them came today. Cleveland next week, as Matt said, you're five and three. You're halfway through a season when you've gotten accomplished what you needed to won all three division games. You're up on everybody by at least that half game that they're now up on Tennessee. And as he also said, tomorrow morning starting at 6, Monday morning starting at 6, I'm sure people will pick apart the little bits and pieces of this game that could have been a little bit better because there were a few, but a win nonetheless. And a cover.